Greetings YouTube. My wife and I are out today looking at yard sales and such and we're on our way to New Boston where they're supposed to have a bunch of neighborhood um, yard sales going on. And our GPS system took us the do not, we chose do not take the highway route. And we're on a dirt road and I don't know where, but while on this dirt road, say hello to my wife, charming wife. Sorry. <laughs> We found a scary Santa by a stream with a little outbuilding of some variety, which is supposed to be a depot. It's the Beaver Brook Railroad. And there is a caboose. They're passing this uh, ramp of some variety, some bunting. And this place is just covered in mold and it's just amazing moss. I have no idea where I actually am and I had no idea that there was a weird, scary Santa there's a crane? How far is it? She said there's something down here, so we're going to go check it out. I'm not too concerned about traffic. This is the third section of unpaved roads that um, our GPS, whose name is Sam, because that's her voice, has taken us on. All right, there. Here's the a. Tribute to all U.S. military. U.S. Army Armored Division, Third Brigade. 35th Division. This is bloody bizarre. I am astounded. I have no idea if you folks can see this, but we are in the midst of an entire flock of turkey vultures. And these are big birds, folks. These are not small birds. And there's there's what, what, six or seven of them up there? Eight. Eight of them? And some of them were, were just soaring over this road a few minutes ago, and they were only about 15 or 20 feet above my head. I have no idea why they're all here. Maybe there's some, some roadkill somewhere nearby. These are some big birds, folks. They were catching the thermals off this road, obviously. Very cool. Greetings YouTube. So my wife and I are back from our day of yard sailing and um, we've got a number of cool things today. First off, which is probably hard to see, but that is an office mat designed to put on carpet so your chair will roll more easily on it. Um, the one I have in the office is very old and yellow. This one's not perfect. It's got a few small cracks in it, but I paid a dollar for it. So it's better than the one I've got now. The bench that all these things are sitting on cost me 10 bucks today, which is great because it now means I have uh, two benches in my kitchen as opposed to just one. If the bench isn't perfect, it needs a little bit of strengthening. So I picked up some corner brackets today, which I'm going to put in the inside, strengthen it up a bit. We got a pair of 20-pound uh, hand weights for five bucks. That was a good deal. Um, we got a copy of the original Hunter the Reckoning for a dollar. Public Works, a handbook for self-reliant living for free. Um, the Ghost and the Darkness for a dollar, which is a really good movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. A very large uh, laundry mesh bag, which we got for my wife's new tent. She just got a new tent. Um, she's going away camping next weekend, next week. Um, this is a silk sleeping bag liner. Um, she currently has, my wife has a cotton one, but this is superior to that. So that's cool, it cost four bucks. Um, this is a handmade ceramic bowl. I actually, the guy who spoke, spoke to me for a dollar, knew the artist. 
Um, apparently it's too shallow for a cereal bowl. I thought it was quite attractive. Um, a Craftsman Saber Saw for five bucks. Actually less than five bucks because I got two of the things with it. Um, so that was a good deal. And this knob actually turns so the blade can rotate this way, which is kind of cool. And it's Craftsman, which means it's guaranteed for life. Uh, my wife got herself an Eddie Bauer dress. Oh, sorry about the shadow there. Eddie Bauer dress for a buck. Um, the Golden Book of Camping, which I bought for a buck because it had just some awesome, like, illustrations of uh, cooking over a fire with yours, making your own cooking utensils, how to cook fish. Um, how to make, how to store, store food. Just these, this really Boy Scout of American type stuff that you just do not see anymore. And it's in really good shape. Um, this is not a true gorilla um, tripod, but it's a knockoff. But I paid this um, plus the saw and, and the mesh in the bag I got for five bucks. So it you know, cost me next to nothing. This, Lazy Susan, is one of the things I got today because I had gotten a smaller one which is up here on the table that one but this has a much better weight and I like the size hopefully I'll be using that for some future videos um, and a got I got a uh, clip style work or inspection light for my basement or wherever I want to plug it where you know clip to clip it to something which is kind of useful to have spot lighting wherever you need it and as I said my wife is going away uh, kayaking and camping next week and the camera I am currently holding is waterproof so she's taking with her but it's not uh, we have no float so she's gonna go kayaking in the ocean and we do not want to lose this very nice camera I'm using so I'm gonna take that section of pool noodle and I'm going to use a piece of cord to attach it to the camera and that thing will keep this camera afloat and it costs two bucks for a five foot length so I can make floats for years to come so that was our finds today. I'm quite pleased with them.